Good morning. And it is a good morning because if I've got my maths right, today marks one year of me doing a 95% daily vlog. So that's quite cool. I can't believe it's been a whole year. I can't believe I've got 10,000 subscribers now. I mean, thank you so much everybody for your support. Anyway, I had better get cracking because I'm heading off to Mid Wales. I'm well ahead with everything that I need to do, which is great. And I want to stay that way. So time to hit the road. Have a good time. Make Bye. A good video. Bye. Bye. Yeah, hopefully well. Super exciting. I always love going for a long drive in my car. Just, it never gets old, this car. Well, it's not quite the beautiful sunny weather I was hoping for, if I'm being completely honest. Wow, that really is not going very quickly, is it? Oh well, plenty of time for lunch. This is the last supercharger between here and where I'm going. So from here on out, it's going to be ecotricity. Now, there's a bit of a problem with ecotricity, I think. On the website, you can't get live updates. And I think the app does give you live updates, but with one caveat, it's really, really difficult to actually find where you want to go because it, it gives you a list. It, there's no map. Right, so I know I want to go to Shrewsbury because Shrewsbury is the closest charger to where I'm going in Wales. And I don't know if there's going to be anywhere to charge in Wales. And I probably will. I'll probably be able to get some like free pin power. But either way, I don't want to turn up with like empty. There's a Shrewsbury Starbucks. Yeah, by the looks of it, it's um, working and available. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I think I'll just drive there. Yeah, I was hoping to visit the centre of Shrewsbury because I've got a bit of extra time. I, amazingly enough, I'm not actually late at all. I am, if anything, way early. I guess it's time to crack on. It's a shame that Jasper and Soph couldn't join me for this little jaunt because it's turning into quite a little holiday. Oh my god, it's a Model X. That's the first one I've seen in the wild. But you know, that isn't owned by Tesla. Right, this is actually not my proper pit stop. I just really fancy taking a little trip into Shrewsbury. It's quite a bit damper today than uh, <laughs> than I would normally like. You see the sky over there? Out with the new, and in with the old. Gotta admit, I was getting a little bit worried on the skate down. Firstly, because it was all downhill, and secondly, because, I don't know, it wasn't quite the picturesque town I was expecting. I do find these old industrial buildings quite beautiful, some of them. At least they're a lot prettier than some of the new industrial buildings where they really have made no effort whatsoever. Modern buildings definitely have too many right angles. Okay. I bet this place is heaving in nice weather. You know, if that weather doesn't look so handy, I might um, actually head back, I think. <laughs> or maybe I should grab a quick coffee first. Yeah. There's something about old English architecture that I just do find fascinating. Probably reminds me of my old school trips to places like this. Oh, speaking of which, on the way back, I'm going to try and swing by a place called Ironbridge, which I did go to on a school trip to when I was like way young. But it's an amazing place. It's basically the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. So I'm definitely going to have to uh, see if I can just stop by there. Yeah, I really like the exercise factor that you get with sort of parking on the outskirts of a town and then riding in. What's my watch say? Yeah. I'm close. Um, where am I supposed to cross? This is some screwed up pedestrian situation. One downside to taking my board in today though is because it's been a bit wet, shall we say, the thing's now filthy. I'll put that shot in for Jasper. 
There we go. Now time for me to get some uh, electrons. Have a look, how muddy have we made this? Oh, dude. Yep. I'm gonna have to give that a clean. Bit better. Pump's got no signal, which means this charge is free. Oh, that's just really sh not good. You know, I knew this was gonna happen. Well, I didn't, but that map has a report that this charge is not working. I did wonder if they'd actually sorted it out because this report was from a couple of weeks ago, but clearly no. So now the question is, do I go to another one that is very definitely out of my way? 17 and a half miles of range it'll cost me to get there. I probably will go. You know, the irony is, I was actually going to make the remainder of today's blog post about how actually ecotricity does a really good job you know although it gets a bit of a bad rap for certain things on the whole it is good and i probably am gonna still make it about that whilst highlighting the shortcomings this is the most at a petrol station charge point i've ever used oh, takes me back just gotta hope this one's working otherwise uh I'm gonna need to ask my uh, b and if I can borrow a socket. It's not got any signal again. That's what I'm talking about. So at the moment we're gonna get there with 41%, but we're gonna try and get that up to more like sort of 65%. I've got to say, Ecotricity really are the enabler of easy travel around the UK. I mean, I know there are other charge networks out there, but the placement of their chargers is just brilliant. I mean, especially when they don't get signal. This one doesn't get signal, so I'm actually going to get this charge for free. The fact that they've got so many of them gives you the flexibility to find a route that works for you and to, if you have to, use it a bit like a petrol station. I mean, this stop isn't really costing me any time because I would only get to the inn before it's open and I've got editing to do anyway, so I would just be sitting there editing. And then when it did open, I would have to ask them, can I borrow, you know, a socket? You know, if it wasn't for ecotricity, this journey would be really annoying and tricky and require planning and talking to people about borrowing power. And as it is, I stop here for 30 minutes and then I basically don't have to worry again. I should have enough power to go to my destination and then when I want to come out again on Wednesday just drive to the supercharger and then and then on to home. I mean, the reliability has been awful and it has improved a lot in the last six to nine months I would say like a lot but it's still not perfect obviously. It's in their own interest to make an effort because quick chargers are a great way to advertise. You know, they basically try and push their gas and electricity that they sell to domestic customers through the use of their quick chargers, which is why if you're one of their customers, you get a certain number of free chargers a year. They're not doing it out of the goodness of their own heart. They were never going to do it out of the goodness of their own heart. There are some things I think they should improve, I, you know, more than the price, I think the fact that it has to be 30 minutes is really annoying. And it's a great way to actually evangelize EVs, having quick chargers in sensible places. For example, when I used to have my Nissan Leaf, I would stop at, you know, quick chargers like this really regularly. And nine times out of 10, somebody would come and ask me about the car, about the quick charger, how long does it take, what's the range, how much it costs. You know, that, that process still goes on today. When I stopped at the supercharger, somebody came up and asked, you know, how much does it cost? And I explained, you know, for old cars free, for the new ones cheap. And he was like, oh, I wish I hadn't asked. It is a great way to raise awareness of these vehicles. It's because people actually see them out on the road and, you know, charging, refueling, quote unquote, so they know that they are viable long distance cars. It is just such an absolute massive enabler. I know I, know I keep going on about it, but the reality is I probably use these ecotricity chargers more often than the superchargers because with the level of distribution they have around the country, they usually fall in the ideal place where I want to stop more often than not. Like for example now, the reason I want to stop at this charger is because it's only about, what is it? 42 miles to my destination. Despite how incredibly useful Ecotricity chargers are, 
they're only actually running at about 40 kilowatts. So it just shows you how little power is really required in order to meaningfully add range to an EV. I have arrived at my destination for the day. If you ask nicely. So it looks like I'm gonna basically have a full charge tomorrow, which is handy. I mean, it means I'm gonna have to hunt quite hard to find an excuse to stop on the way home. But I'll, I'll think of something. I am chuffed that the weather looks like it's not so bad at the moment, touch wood. See, if the weather's like this tomorrow, we're gonna do some drone flying. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram if you don't already, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Oh, this uh, seems like a nice room. There is one small issue I've detected, which is that there seems to be a bit of a shortage of sockets. There's a couple over there, and there's a couple in use over there. I mean, of course, for a normal person, that wouldn't be a problem. It's only because I've got, like, I don't know how many different cameras, and they all need charging.